Okay, so standard trailer is 60-40 displacement, meaning 60% of the trailer is from the front axle to the tongue and then 40% is from the back tire to the rear. So we, uh, because we bought the trailer before we had our NOAA membership, we didn't know that, um, one, that this was basically how trailers were commonly built, but also that if you put all of your house to the front of the trailer, like we did, it runs the risk of being too tongue heavy and the trailer's not properly loaded and then you can't tow it very well. So I uh, had a little bit of a panic attack because with our, now this usually wouldn't be that much of an issue, but we have a porch, meaning... Which is kind of a lawn right now. Yeah, it's our front lawn. Beautiful, we're growing high, tall grass. Um, <laughs> so, now if you noticed or not, but look at how much of our house is behind is behind the axle here. Not very much. This is like a 2080 displacement. So, with our floor plan and our kitchen, once it's built, it only comes to about like what here? I'm about there, uh, a little further. Yeah. So in, like, yeah. that means our kitchen, our our closet, our bathroom, our utility closet, our bedroom loft all was going to be to the front part of the trailer. So a little bit of a panic attack. I had a little bit of a panic attack. It's not Keo, he's my rock. Uh, hmm. Realizing that we definitely made the like number one thing that Noah talked about, which was you can't have a front heavy trailer. So luckily they went over our floor plans and there are a few things that saved our butts. Um, and one being our bathroom material is super lightweight. We're going to be having a composting toilet. We have we don't have any tile in the shower. Um, we're going to be lining most of the bathroom with uh, shosugi ban, ah, like the exterior of the house, which is a sealed, a charred cedar. So uh, and a horse trough for a bathtub. So like all this really really lightweight stuff. So that kind of saved our butts. Um, the other thing that kind of saved us is that we're actually going to have an a space over the loft so it's more than just a gable we're actually going to have like a living space over the loft which will help to counterbalance that out as well as very heavy hardwood planks that we're going to be putting on the front porch so and the wall what oh yeah and and the wall here so we have well, the wall on the side huh oh yeah and we're going to be having a wall here on the front porch so we had a few things that that saved us but but for anyone who's creating their plans, we highly, and we thought so carefully about our plan. It's like, we didn't want to have to change it. And so, uh, we don't have to. And the, um, so for anyone who's making their plans for the future, highly recommend that you see how much weight is distributed towards the front on a standard 60-40 uh, distribution trailer and talk to the manufacturer. Show them your plans. Talk to them about whether or not these axles to distribute your trailer a little better need to be moved forward. Honestly, we probably would have benefited from having ours moved forward a little bit. We'll be about fine. a foot or two. Yeah, maybe a foot or two. Yeah. Um, which doesn't sound like much. Not much. On a 24 foot trailer, that, that, that's a lot. enough to, yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, oh, they did mention that uh, if you are going to be heavy at all on your floor plan, I'd much rather you be um, tongue heavy than, than tail heavy, for what that's worth. Um, you can watch a few videos online on the difference between what would happen with towing if it's tail heavy versus tongue heavy, so tail heavy's not good. <laughs> um, Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, word of caution for people who are DIYing this. Get your NOAA certification first. Do that first. Please do that first because that'll lay down all the rules that you need to follow and then go off all happy-go-lucky and buy your trailer. We did it the other way around and in retrospect that was probably not the best. What are you doing? <laughs> Trying to find the good light. Oh, it's, it's straight above. There's no good light. Uh. Um, so, yeah. 
do that first. That's step one. Go get your NOAA membership. And then, then work on your trailer and get that, get that taken care of. And show them your plans. Yeah, and then get your trailer. So that's it. Thanks, guys. And we'll talk to you next time. Boop. <laughs>